Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday in the 20th week after Pentecost, and our lesson comes from Proper 23. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always precede and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 8th chapter, beginning at the 26th verse. Then they arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on land, a man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, what have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herd saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened, and when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. Here ends the lesson. In the gospel reading from Saturday, Jesus calms a storm, demonstrating his power over the chaos of nature that prompts the disciples to ask, who then is this? That he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. And today, when they arrive at the country of the Gerasenes, Jesus encounters a man who had a long history of wild behavior. He wore no clothes and lived in tombs rather than in a house. Again, Jesus demonstrates his power over chaos, but this time it's over spiritual chaos by commanding the demons to leave the man. The demon recognizes Jesus for who he is. He calls out to Jesus, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. The demon asks Jesus not to torment him, so Jesus sent the unclean spirits into a herd of pigs, causing them to run down a steep bank into a lake and drown. Of course, the swine herds, herds who witnessed this went into the city and the town and told what they had seen. I can only imagine what they were saying, let alone what they were thinking. The people came out to see for themselves what had happened. And when they arrived, the man who was formerly naked and acted erratically was sitting clothed and in his right mind. 
and healed of the unclean spirits. Because the people were seized with fear, they didn't know what to think. They were afraid, not to mention the negative economic impact on the community. So the people asked Jesus to leave. Clearly, Jesus' priorities are different than the priorities of the people of the country of the Gerasenes. Jesus cares, of course, about people's ability to provide a livelihood, but he cares more about healing people and freeing them in life. Jesus does as they request, and he leaves the area, but he leaves behind a powerful witness who immediately goes to the city and proclaims Jesus. I can only imagine the testimony of this man to these people. Let us pray. O oh God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm happy that you joined us today. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. Join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday or 9 a.m. on Sunday. Christian Formation for All Ages is at 5.30 on Saturday. Check out our website for details about in-person and virtual offerings.